Hi guys, today I'm going to show you uh, how easy and fast it is to, to diagnose a uh, P0342, which is the intake camshaft sensor signal low, which basically means that the signal wire is shorted to ground. That could be the sensor faulty or could be a fault in the wiring. I already took the sensor part, which is this one right here, and also took the exhaust camshaft sensor out to prove my point, and also it's good to see. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the ignition on and we're going to check the voltages on these wires. We're going to have a ground, we're going to have a 5 volt supply and a 12 volt supply in this model. To do that, I'm going to use a simple multimeter this time. I'm going to go on volts DC. I'm going to put my ground lead on a chassis. It should be on the battery, but ignore that. And now I'm going to go on the this wire and I should get... Hang on. I've got the 4.9 volts, which is the 5 volts reference. Then I've got the other wire, which got the 12 volts, and we should have also the ground. I'm gonna go on the other wire, and to check the ground, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put that there on the ground. I'm gonna go on the positive of the battery, and it should get 12 volts. And there we go. Which tells me that all the wiring is just fine. So now, the second test is going to be a component test. And the easiest way to do, and I mean the easiest way to do, is because if this is a shorted to ground connector, oh, sorry, uh, fault. I'm going to plug in the connector and I'm going to use the multimeter again even though I should be using the oscilloscope, which I will in a second. But I just want to show you this. Okay. And now if I go into the, into the signal wire, as you can see there, I've got 1.2 volts, which is incorrect. Okay, so we should get there a 12 volt signal in this, but we get only 1.1, and this is why we get the short earth fault and the next thing I'm going to do now I also got the exhaust sensor out for you so I can show you that so I'm, I'm gonna go again uh, give me a second oops don't go away okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna do the same measurement because it's the same sensor on the signal wire on the good sensor and oh, come on that's a bit of a one hand is very hard okay give me a second okay so I managed to do the properly so you can see there got 11.48 volts and because I know this is a good working sensor, if I'm going to do this, I'm just going to take the sensor, I'm going to go close to the ground, look, the, look what's happening the voltage, going down to zero volts, away from the metal, back on the metal. And that is how it should work. Okay, so now to make it a bit more fun, I'm going to use the little oscilloscope I've got here, take the motor away. Okay, and we're gonna do the same test on the good known sensor, and we're gonna do the same test on the faulty sensor. Come on, little man, that's it. Okay. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm I'm gonna take away the sensor away from the metal part. Hang on. I'm gonna take the probe. I'm going to go into the signal wire and you can see there that's my pattern again okay so as you can see there that's a 2 volt scale 
every square is two volts, so now we're on 12 volts. So if I'm going to take the sensor now, I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to just go close the metal, watch the oscilloscope. Down, up, down, up, down, up. This is a good signal. That's what you should see. I'm going to do the same on the, the other wire, on the faulty sensor. As you can see, it's gone up to 1 volt, 1 point something volts. And if I'm going to go close the metal, as you can see that nothing's happening. That is because this sensor is faulty. Very simple test. All you need is just a multimeter in this case, but I would advise you to get this little guy to do the job brilliant. Thanks for guys. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it useful. See you on my next one. Okay, so I've replaced the sensor. I've got a new one in now. So to make sure everything's all right, I'm gonna do the same test again. I'm gonna backplug the signal wire. As you can see, it's already gone to 12 volts straight away, which is exactly what I'm expecting to see. And now I'm gonna go come close to a piece of metal. You can see the signal going up and down. Sorry, that's it. That's exactly what I wanna see. And now that I know everything working all right, I'm gonna put it all back together. I'm gonna go for a road test, a bit of a longer road test to make sure everything's all right. And that's it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time.